Hi everyone, this is Shirley from Shirley's World with a surprise visit. I did go uh, to Goodwill for just actually less than a half hour yesterday. Uh, I only had a few minutes and uh, today I went to that little, the good, what is the name of that? I keep forgetting it. Uh, the good selling place or the good, you know, I can never remember the name of that, which isn't good for them. Uh, anyway, it's a little one that just opened in town like less than a year ago or about a year ago. And um, today was Samantha's day that we do different things. So we did a lot of different things. We went to Tractor Supply, picked up chicken feed. We went, got gas to the car, which I hate to do. So it's nice to have company at least. Uh, we went to the bank for my, you know, February uh, bank banking that I do. And then we went over to this little store. So that's what we did on her visit today. Uh, every other week, Samantha, we do different things. It can be any, most anything. She's up for anything. <laughs> so today was a fun day. And uh, yeah, that's what we did. So uh, I want to show you the few things I got uh, yesterday and today. It only amounts to less than 10 things for both days. And one of the things is mine. <laughs> I'll show you that first. I got, I've been hunting for a little tiny frying pan for one egg. I used to have one and the handle fell off of it. I mean, I used it, for, uh, I just really used it up. Uh, it got rusty. It was a, it was a, not a good one at all. With pro, This probably isn't either, but it's better than the other one. The other one was even smaller than this. It was just so small that when you put an egg in it, cracked an egg in it, the sides held it in a certain, in a, just a little round shape. This is going to spread out a little bit. This is probably an inch in diameter too wide. But uh, I was going to buy one on Amazon. But instead of paying seven or eight dollars or eleven dollars, I got this for three dollars. So it'll do. And it's nonstick. So that's for me. Hi, Bumblebee. <laughs> I'm glad you keep an eye out for me because I never know what I'm when I'm going on. Uh, yeah, yesterday I got a few things at Goodwill. And today I only got three things at that other shop, but they're a lot more expensive. So I didn't want to uh, get too much there, but it was fun going. Um, yeah, let me show you what I got at Goodwill yesterday. This was at the Little Goodwill in uh, Brunswick. Uh, you know, I tried standing there and looking everything up and... I wasn't finding anything except one thing that I did find that had a good sell-through rate. Uh, but other than that, I don't think my Goodwills have anything that's, well, they do once in a great while. But if I would just go on that, I would never get anything uh, because you'll see. So I picked up, I started, I'm going to start picking up little shorts. Uh, these are Levi's uh, pockets. These need to be steamed or washed or something, ironed. Uh, they're short shorts. They're not booty shorts. Uh, they have a little split there in the leg. They're just short sh denim shorts uh, by Levi's. They don't have any particular number, but they are a size 10. So a decent size. I usually get uh, between $15 and $20 for these, more toward the $15. Double pocket in the back. <clears throat> then I found, I thought this was nice. This is also a size 1X women's, which is a plus size. And it's... Uh, J. Jill. 
By the way, I, I didn't use a 35% off coupon because I got so few things. So I didn't want to waste my coupon. So I paid the amount, whatever the amount was for these things. Uh, these tops are usually $4.79, and that's what I had to pay for them. See, I'm used to having the coupon. But surprisingly enough, when I took these few things up to the counter and got checked out, I got another 35% off coupon. So I do have two now. So I'm set for a, bit, a little while. Uh, this is a long tunic. It's knit. It's cotton and model and rayon, I think. I think these are three-quarter sleeves. Yeah. And... The little thing that makes it different is it has some button detail up the side of each side. And just the bottom button is a working button. You could unbutton that last button if you want. And the rest of them don't unbutton. But it's this uh, blue color with a V-neck. <clears throat> Uh, this is the only thing I picked up in the men's department. I was really looking through their things, hoping to find some L.L. Bean, but I didn't find anything L.L. Bean at this store. I think they're all at the other. Uh, it's good. Short season is just around the corner. Right. Yes. <laughs> uh, this is Kelvin Klein in an ec uh, extra large. But it is, is mer all merino wool, and it is so soft. It's a dark charcoal gray color. It's hard to see. It has a V-neck, a men's basic sweater. Uh, but, yeah, it's just a traditional sweater. It has the logo of the K uh, CK there for Calvin Klein. Not that you can see it very good, but uh, yeah, just a nice sweater, basic, very basic. And then I thought this was cute. I don't know if it'll resell for that much, but American Eagle, and this is a extra large. It's this nice gold color that everybody is showing lately. It's cropped, has a tie uh, around the bottom, and it has a little short uh, sleeves. It's very boxy, uh, just a boxy little sweatshirt in this gold color. <clears throat> So, you know, I didn't have a bag with me either. I had to buy a bag for a quarter. So I got these this cute little bag with the puppies on it. <laughs> so I have another bag now. Uh, I have a lot of these bags if I just remember to take them. The good thing I did get, I think this is pretty good, uh, a pair of boots. These are Coolabera, Coolabera by Ugg. I see that. And these are the Victoria shorts. They look like the bow. I mean, because they do have bows, but when I looked it up, they were more uh, showing that they were the this Victoria kind. This has a really good sell-through rate. Over a hundred percent, which is great for me. These are a size nine, also. They have the shearling inside. They are in really good condition. Uh, this just needs the suede needs brushed on it. But yeah, they're a leather suede. Uh, the bottoms are in really good condition. Yeah, they don't look like they've been worn much at all. If anything, they have may have a little spot right there. I may be able to brush that out. I'll see. 
but that shouldn't matter. These are going out in the weather. <laughs> Coolabera by Ugg. So that was my best find. I didn't find any other good shoes. This is the uh, Goodwill I usually find some good shoes at, but not this time. So today, Samantha and I went into the store. We looked around at furniture. We looked at lots of things, but I started going over to look at the clothes and uh, we couldn't spend too much. Yeah, the, those are cute boots. I could probably get my foot in them, although um, a nine with all that shearling in there, I could probably would take a 10. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the beagle puppy reminds you of somebody. So this is from the store that uh, is in town, the more expensive store. Now, this piece was $7. This is compared to uh, most of their pieces of clothing are $5 each, but some things they mark up. This is a J. Jill 1X Women. Okay. It's a knit uh, jacket. How many buttons do we have there? Five. One, two, three, four, five, counting the top. Yeah, five buttons. Uh, has pockets. It's a nice blue color. But it was marked up to $7. Uh, yeah, it's a cotton rayon blend, I think. But it does have some stretch to it. So by J. Jill in a plus size. Uh, well, I guess it has four pockets. Two top and two down here. So I think that should sell pretty good. J. Jill in the plus size especially uh, still sells pretty good. I found this... Uh, you can't see the size, but with Samantha's better eyes, she did, uh, you have to sort of hold it in the light and, and see, see it. It is a large women's. This is a Woolrich, this is a vintage Woolrich sweater. And this is all lamb's wool, or mostly lamb's wool. It is so soft. Let me see how much. Uh, 100% lamb's wool. I don't know if you can, it's a cardigan. It buttons down, it would have a, it would have like a V-neck and then it has like one, two, three buttons. But look at the little buttons, how different they are. It's sort of a gray or dark olive and green. It's so soft, and I think this will do pretty well, being a vintage Woolrich. Long sleeve little cardigan. We'll see. We're hoping. <laughs> and... There's my receipt. So total, I spent um, nineteen dollars there for only three things. Okay, and the other goodwill, I I spent um, twenty seven dollars for eight things but one was mine so i don't know it's not that bad i picked this up at the tail end because i just needed to get at least something uh this is an open cardigan and it's like a burnout pattern a burnout knit by j jill but this is a medium i would like it to be a bigger one but it's a medium it has uh 
long sleeves. It does have a dirt mark on the back of the elbow here. I don't know if you can see that. But I think that'll come out. Uh, it has pockets. This is a long line uh, cardigan. Oh, it's not open. It has uh, five buttons on it. And I was hoping this was linen, but I don't, I don't think it is. This, yes, it is. Oh, good. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm buying. Lin I might have known in the store. Linen and rayon and cotton. Okay, now I'm happy. Uh, yeah. So I'm going to give this a little scrub there on the elbow. Uh, see what the washing instructions are before I go throwing it in the washing machine. And that is what I got. That's all I have so far. I have no product to sell. <laughs> uh, I'm thinking probably tomorrow or the next day, maybe Friday on half price or on, yeah, when they change the tags, I probably should go up to the bigger Goodwill. Now, it all depends on how I'm feeling because... I don't know, yesterday when I was at this Goodwill, I was not feeling my best. And that's one of the reasons I left early. And, uh, you know, I'm still very tired from whatever I had. It seems to be gone now, but I'm just tired. So I don't know what that was. Uh, hi, Dan. So that's what I got. I also have been shopping on Amazon. <laughs> I have watched so many. I want to bake bread so bad. <laughs> I don't know. I have this thing in my head. So I don't know if I mentioned this last time that I've been watching videos on how to use a bread maker. Uh, more instead of making the full loaf, you know, letting it go the full way and making just a loaf of bread like now i this is my third bread maker i wore the first one out long time ago i think i told you this and then uh the second one i lost in the cellar clean out i didn't realize it was down there in a box or i wouldn't have let it go uh, I forget what brand. It wasn't a real good brand. But um, anyway, I decided after watching these videos of how to just make the dough. You do all the messy part in the machine. You don't have to finish it in there. Because it makes that tall, funny looking loaf. Not that that matters. But, uh, but you can take it out at that point. Where, where the dough has already risen and you take it out uh, before you put it in the loaf pan and you, you sort of uh, knead it down a little bit and then let it rise again in the loaf pan and then bake it. So that's what I'm going to do. Now, I may make the first loaf the, the right way to make sure this bread maker is working right. Uh, but... Yeah, I got one yesterday, and I don't know why it makes it so hard for, rem for me to remember the name of what I got. It's a good one. And, uh, yeah. <clears throat> I'll get it here in a minute. It is the Cuisinart. <laughs> Why can't I remember that name? The Cuisinart uh, Compact Bread Maker. Uh, it takes a, a smaller footprint than the other one that I was going to get. So I'll be able to tuck it away in a cupboard easier when I'm not using it. Because I won't use it for more than once a week, if that. So 
I am going to make a YouTube video on the box opening. I haven't opened the box yet. Came uh, yesterday. <laughs> uh, I have everything to make the bread, but I haven't opened the box yet. So I am going to... Yes, I do have a uh, mixer with a dough hook. I don't know why I didn't... It still makes a bit of a mess when you... When you use the your uh, your mixer, this is so easy. I mean, I know from using it before. You just dump things in this pan and set it on and push a button. I mean, you don't have to handle anything. So until it comes out of of the of the thing, by that time it's not messy. It's you know the raised dough, and you stick it in a pan. So, I don't know. That's what I'm going to try to do. I will do a box opening in the next day or two of this uh, Cuisinart bread maker and show you how it is. And then, the first time I make bread, I'll try to do that too. And we'll see where that goes. I know there's, I've watched every one that's on. There's not that many on showing it, so... I'll just do that in between uh, doing my eBay YouTube videos. So, anyway, we'll see. It'll be fun. <laughs> and I'll have some delicious bread to eat. One of the things I can eat. So uh, I will be back. That will be a recorded. Those will be recorded videos, so they won't be live. I'm not that brave. So I will, uh, you'll see, keep an eye out for videos on my bread makers. So I will see you again. If not before, I will see you on Sunday. This has been a super slow week. Of course, I haven't had any inventory, so... Yeah, super slow week this week. Uh, so I will see you for sure Sunday, if not before. So thanks for joining you two. You just hang in there with me. I will see you then. Bye.